Iowa. Iowa? Yeah. Not Iowa. I was trying to say yes in Arabic. It sounded like, like you said Iowa. It's Iowa. 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 Yep. Iowa. Yes. No, I'm saying yep and... Oh. Burgers! <laughs> I was like, Iowa. Oh, you're getting there. Oh my god. Left, right, left, right. Go! Hello, interwebs, and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations. My name's Skinny Minnie. And I'm Pharaoh. And last episode, uh, Ambassador Alba, or excuse me, ex Ambassador Alba, ah. <laughs> was talking about, oh, you can't get me, I have diplomatic immunity. And then Lang just busted in here talking about, Psh, bish, no, you don't. <laughs> Whooped out a lethal weapon, too, on him. Woo! Oh, I hear an echo. Is that me? Maybe. Am I loud? I don't know. Sometimes I feel my my headphones suck. So you're like you're you're kind of like you're loud. My headphones and it picks up my in my mic. Um, oh. I try stopping that when I can, but it happens. Okay. I just want to make sure I'm not too loud. Then. Um. Okay. All right. So now we're going to. Uh, question his last part of his testimony, hopefully. Or, ask Alibi. Alright. Oh, part, part three. <clears throat> I killed Mr. Cochin in the theater using a knife that was stuck in my bouquet. I left that bouquet in the theater. Anyone could have taken the knife from there. Besides, Mr. Cochin's body was discovered in Babal, right? There is no way for me to have transported his body from the theater to Babal. Look, don't you think we've had enough fun with me? You've already stolen my ambassadorship from me. Would you have me surrender to? Not the best. You have no plans to ever return to this country, isn't that right? Huh? Did you know that a bunch of your subordinates are seeking asylum because of you? Uh -huh. As if I care. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor! Put this guy out of, out of the embassy, and we can finally end everything. I know, and I will give it my all to see that he leaves in handcuffs. Without the title of ambassador, he is just another witness. Yes, just another witness. Alright, what are we waiting for? Let's get this guy! And get him good! I wonder if they understand that all I can do is present evidence to the testimony. <laughs> yeah, they all look very uh threatening. But yeah. you know, he deserves it probably. Well, it's hard and nah, 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 never mind, never mind. No, he deserves it. Yeah, I know, but it's, it's like I I don't want it in like, you know, promote violence against any other person regardless of what they do, but at the same time it's like uh, it'll be nice to see. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people wanted it. Anyway, that's a different discussion. Yeah, that which we can get into. Oh uh, yeah, let's just avoid it for right now. Okay. All right. Um, I killed him. So pretty much, we have to present is what Edgeworth said. Um, so this is what I want to do. What do you want? We, we already presented the knife, right? In the last, I think, in the last episode. So what we need to do is we gotta we gotta put the pick in there. Because that was left in the feet in the neutralis, and then we have to prove the uh, security footage with the push cart. Because in the push cart is Mr. Cochin's body. You may even be able to bypass the security footage part because we actually have the push cart as separate evidence. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So I just don't know what order needs to go in. Besides, Mr. Coach's body was discovered in the ball, right? There is no way for me to have transported his body. Oh, here! I can just do that here, yeah? Sounds logical. Okay. Alright, here we go with the logic. Are you uh, submitting the... What are you submitting? I, I submitted the cart. Okay. And it's right, because the music stopped. Ah! Come on, there we go. Actually, I do believe there was a way to transport the body out of the theater. Perhaps you should give this a look. What is that supposed to be? 
<laughs> Sorry, anytime I see the word look now, um, I think back in E3, Devolver Digital did like a parody of like an E3 presentation. And the late presenter was like, check a look! And it's like, <laughs> oh God. Take a look! And he put check it out in the same Take sentence. Yes. Good job. It's footage from a security camera that captured the state of the immigration area. Oh, so you could have presented the security camera or the cart. Maybe. Should I congratulate you on getting your hands on it? Just let you know that we're not the only ones watching your every movement. Hm. Thank you for the warning. Now, if you could take a good look at the section here. This lump here inside the pushcart. Do you know what's causing it? Should I? Because I don't. Hmm. In that case, allow me to enlighten you. This is the cause of the unnatural lump under the cloth in the pushcart. And it's... Um... Uh... I want to say notes on Manny Cochin's body, but... Uh... I'm thinking that's what it is, because there's no other thing signifying his body. Yeah, I, I guess? Take that! Yeah, let's give it a shot. Okay, yeah, it was right. Okay. W what is the meaning of showing me that? It's to say that the unnatural bulge in a push cart is Mr. Cochin's body. You had the steel samurai wheel his body away from the real crime scene. <laughs> what a guess. But I wonder if you have any evidence to support it. I admit that for now, it is but a hypothesis, however... <laughs> if you can't prove it, then I'm afraid I must be on my way. I don't have any more time to play with you people. <gasps> ah! Uh... Oh, dang it, hold on. <laughs> no! It just stopped working. There we go. Sir, it took so long, Mr. Edgeworth, sir! Gummy? Detective Gumshoe, is that the Steel Samurai's push cards? Yes, sir! Found it in the open age open air stage area. <laughs> so that's where you went. The detective spirit that pops left with me. Wait, can you talk about his dad? Oh I think I know what the next game might be about. His daddy! Aw. What if Detective Bad was his dad? That'd be interesting. I guess it's oh my god, what if the next game, like, his detective bad dies, and he and we find Don't out that was his that. dad. Don't say you, that. You know Capcom would do that to us. I mean, after what we experienced, yeah. God but, darn. <laughs> I thought I'd follow my gut and go with it, sir. So, Miss Edgeworth, is this worth anything to the case? Yes. It just might play a major role in solving this case, detective. Something isn't right. I thought that the entire samurai family was an alabast. Where exactly in the open air stage area did you find this pushcart? I found it just lying there at the edge of the stage, sir. Oh? Well, let's leave that for now and examine the inside, detective. Yes, sir! Oh, do you need to get your chicken? Shoot, yes I do. I'll be right back. <laughs> and I'm back. Welcome back. Yay. What are we uh, doing? <laughs> uh, examining this cart. Oh, I wonder what we can examine. Oh, oh goodness, shoot. I accidentally examined the outside of it. Oh, dear lord. Steel Samurai Daddy uses push cart to wheel the Iron Infant around. The Iron Infant is the Steel Samurai and the Pink Princess's kid, right? Yes, he made an appearance at the end of the stage show. Heh, it was a rather fitting ending to the whole thing. That the Steel Samurai was unwittingly forced to move the body is just unforgivable. Okay. Voice acting ha 101. <gasps> Blood! Blood! Examine. Hmm? It's... Blood! This must be Mr. Coach's blood. Which only goes to prove that Mr. Coach's body was indeed transported by this pushcart. 
I believe you understand what this means, correct? You killed Mr. Kojin at this theater and then placed his body inside the pushcart. And then... You forced the Steel Samurai to unwittingly move the body for you! I forced him to move the body into Alabast! What nonsense! Why would I bother to do such a thing? You were scheduled to make a speech in Alabast. Meaning it was difficult for you to make a stop in Babal. However, what if you move the body to Alabast? Because it was your embassy, you could keep an eye on it and tap out the evidence. And then you smuggle it out of Alabast. No! If I can show how you move the body from Alabast to Babal, then I win. But you can't! The security between the two countries is incredibly tight. I'll be the one to judge whether or not I, whether I can or cannot prove it. And so I ask you to provide us with... Testimony regarding your movements after, you re after your return to Alabast. Miles Edgeworth, have you figured it out? Do you know how the body was moved? To be honest, I have nothing to support my hypothesis at this time. However, I do believe I've made a mistake in my logic up until this point. Which means... There is no question that can't be answered, right? The Primera statue was smuggled successfully through a brief flight through the air. So why shouldn't there be an answer as to how the body was moved? Which means that there must be a logic flaw somewhere I can exploit. Huh. Movements in Alabast. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking. Wheels are turning. Wait a minute, hold on. Let me look at the organizer. What do okay. we still have? There has to be something. We still have the photo of the quote-unquote Yadagarasu, don't we? The one flying through the air? Yeah. We do. Okay, I think I'm forming theories. Movements in Alabast. After I returned to Alabast, I had my picture taken with a steel samurai shaking hands. Then, just as I was about to start my speech, the Yadagarasu appeared. I feared for the national treasure, so I raced back to my office. That's it? Is that all? <laughs> yes, that's all. Objection! It looks like you left out a few things, such as the murder of Damas II. Furthermore, you left out the part about meeting with me in your office. Ah, those trifling matters. I don't believe I need to speak of those things again. I do so hate to waste time. Wh what? You! Is not every life precious? Do you really need me to answer that for you? People like you cannot be allowed to wander freely throughout society. Hmm. Then you'd better try hard, because I doubt you'll find a single contradiction. He's really full of himself, isn't he? Yes, he is. How can he be so confident at a time like this? Ha 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 ha. I can't, I'm sorry, I can't do- I can't do a deep laugh yet. No, that's fine. Come, don't be shy. Go ahead and ask whatever you'd like. Movements in Alabast. Okay, so we can't present anything just yet. It honestly sounds like we just pres uh, press. Yeah. Yeah, it's a steel samurai shaking hands. Then just as I was about to start my speech, the Yadagarasu appeared. I want to press on that. Hold it! That Yadagarasu was just a trick that you had set up! A most amusing joke! And how do you propose that I set it up? If you really want to know, I can explain it in detail for you. You arrange the spotlights in the rose garden so that when you would when you were to take the stage, the audience would see the Alagrasu's shadow. Oh, that is interesting tale. Sadly, it has nothing to do with me. You! What's it gonna take for you to fess up to anything? Ugh. Very well then, let's move on to a different question. After the Yadagarasu appeared, what was the, statue, the state of the Rose Garden? Oh, yes, me. Everyone took refuge inside the embassy. I even helped with the effort. 
And then once everyone was inside, well... I feared for the national security, so I raced back to my office, press on that. Hold it! What happened after you returned to your office? I don't want to keep on repeating this, however. Upon my return, I had that bad stroke of luck and bumped into Mask Man. Objection! And I don't want to keep on repeating this either. But his name was Damask the Second. Hm, who cares what he was called? By the time he got to the Primino statue that he was supposed to steal, it had already been swapped with the for the fake. Talk about an unlucky man. Being bludgeoned to death with a fake statue. Oh my god, he does not care. Nope. Miss Von Karma is really letting her whip fly now! Ugh. I think the scary part is her silence when she's doing it! She must be the limit of her patience as well. I would be too! Good lord. The physical attacks are meaningless here. Only evidence will suffice. Oh my god. What? Mina, I really want an RPG game where they're fighting. And I want Von Karma to be in the party and her weapon is a whip the entire game. Well, what's everyone else's attack gonna be? Just pointing fingers and objection? Yes! Have you not seen the anime? Not all of it. We gotta finish oh watching my it. God. Did you finish? Oh my God. Did you finish no. watching it? Oh. No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> then we gotta watch it then. Oh my God. And Iggy Eddie! Eddie! <laughs> oh, see, so you, you somehow activated Alexa. Be quiet. Not you, <laughs> not you. I'm telling her to be quiet. That sounds I wrong. Know. Oh, man. Uh, so. <laughs> Iggy <-laki! laughs> <laughs> Iggy Yagi! I don't know what all he says. I can't speak Japanese! <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm just being stupid. Alexa, tell Pharaoh to shut up. Hey. She can't hear you now. Dang it. Of course she can't. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're we're doing it still. Um, uh -huh. ugh, I can't find a single contradiction. Mr. Edgeworth, he's totally dead on the inside, just like a hollow tree. You're the only one that can calm down the size, Mr. Edgeworth, sir. At this point in time, we lack the information required to fight back properly. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, just just say the word, and I'll get him talking for you. Don't forget what that we have plenty of ways to get him to talk. We got some real scary people on our side, okay. Uh-oh. Well, I'm ready to help out too, Gummy. How about you? But I can't believe even you're getting into this. In that case, I'm ready too, sir. Oh, everyone, please calm down. I I'll think of something. <laughs> that was cute. Oh. So after I return to Alaba, oh, that was oh, that was the last statement. That's right. Uh, I guess we press on this one too. Okay. Press. So why is it? Why was it Omi with the steel samurai? I thought the pink princess was also around. The pink princess was suffering from a bad hip at the time, and the doctors recommended that she rest. Wow! So you do have a soft side after all. The pain of a bad hip. I suppose none of you can really understand how it feels. Oh, so you intend to strain your back as well? But isn't that just because you're normally all hunched over? Oh yeah. Looking like a tree. He did indeed he did need to keep up the act no matter what, I suppose. Hm. <laughs> the point of this is not to discuss my back problems. Well, for about 15 minutes after our handshake, I was out in my office preparing for the speech. I... I can't find a single flaw in his argument! At this rate, I won't be able to prove that he's actually guilty of anything! Are we finished here? Miles Edgeworth, can you not come up with how the body was moved to the ball? Sir! Mr. Edgeworth! Ugh! Even after proving so much, is he going to get away with it? N no. Is this the end? 
Woo! Don't you dare be a to be continued part. Okay. Oh. Who is this? It appears he. Oh. What the fart? It would be a great honor if you would allow us to be your allies in battle. Evil Magistrate, it is time for you to pay. That's not the voice you should be hearing her. Shut up. <laughs> it's the Steel Samurai? No, you're mistaken. For I am Steel Samurai Daddy, married man of Neo Old Tokyo. And this is... Pink, Pink Princess Mommy. Oh, sorry. That's no, fine. No, it's fine. Pink Princess Mommy. No, 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 no. Oh. Now you gotta do it. <laughs> Actually, wait a minute. I forgot. No, you have your session tomorrow. Don't, don't go overboard. Thank you. Damn it. <laughs> Edgy poo. No. The two people I want to see the least. Larry. What are you two doing here? Way to show your gratitude, Edgy! We just wanted to help, yeesh! I'm gonna get the- I'm gonna get the bad guy with a single thrust and samurai spear! Go away! <laughs> I think he's- I just like him pointing- GO AWAY! <laughs> That's so great! <laughs> oh my god! How could you be so mean to us, Edgy Poo? All three of us came to lend a hand, and this is how you treat us! Well, isn't this grand? And I see they managed to find the Iron Infant. Uh, does that really matter right now? Hey! Is it just me, or is the Iron Infant completely soaked? Hmm? Oh, yeah! I found him in the ball, but he was in the middle of the pool! Wait a second! Larry, go back to what you just said! Huh? Oh, um... It appears that we made it not that far back! <laughs> Something about finding the Iron Infant in my ball. We found it in a pool. I don't recall the big one in my ball. Oh, that! Well, I was in Albass the whole time. So I have no idea how the Iron Infant wound up in my ball. I thought I had lost him in the Rose Garden. But I guess maybe this cute, this cute kid can swim, huh? Wait, what? What? Larry, you lost the Iron Infant in the Rose Garden. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure. But I found him in... Hold it! That's enough, Larry. The Iron Infant that Larry lost managed to move between the two countries. Furthermore, the Iron Infant was found soaked in the middle of a pool. This is what I've been looking for. It's another smuggling route between the countries. The key to the route the Iron Infant took to, tra took to travel from Elgas Babal is... <gasps> what you find out in the next episode? I'm so sorry! Oh, no, no, you're not. Yes, I am. Maybe. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the next episode, you guys, we will find out the key to the route and the Iron Inf... I mean, the Iron... We'll find out in the next episode. But, you know, when, when you just can't go anymore, that's... Yep. So thank you guys so very much for watching, and if no one's told you that they love you today, we do. Have a great day, everybody. Mwah! Bye. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>